Hello, I am Francesco. I work in the electronic and software department that has been developing this machine. This machine is produced by Conner Helicopters, which is based in Italy, in Amaro, in the northern part of Italy. We have been active for around 20 years. Five years have been dedicated to the development of the turbine, which is developed and manufactured by us. And the 15 years later, until today, we have been focusing on producing the helicopters, and we are also studying an aircraft. What we have here is the, new, is the new model that we are presenting. This is an amphibious prototype helicopter, which means it has the possibility of landing on water, taking off from the water, and also moving inside of the water thanks to two hydrojets motor that we have implemented. The hydrojets motor gives you about four kilometers of range in water, and they also have a GPS locking function. What does it mean? You can leave the helicopter inside of the water and the GPS will be locked and it will move automatically to keep the position. The skids that we see right here are electronically controlled, meaning right now we are simulating a landing on water when they are up. When you land on Earth, you just electronically push this button and it will go down. And it will go down descending, allowing you to land on the Earth. Uh, the weight of this right now is 490 kilograms, but as I said, it is still a prototype, meaning it is heavier. We do believe we will manage to get 20 kilograms less from the final model. Right now, it's not for sale. There's only a prototype. We should be finished about one year and a half to two years to have it available on the markets. Uh, the main use that we have focused on is for private clients or military purposes, as it is silent when it moves in water. It is powered by our turbine that we manufacture and we develop, which has 250 horsepower and 50 kilograms of weight. We're the only one on the market with a ratio of 1 to 5, which is incredible. There's nobody else with the same power ratio. Um, it is a three-bladed rotor, so that it is safer. We don't have any mass bumping, which might occur in two-bladed rotor. And it is made entirely on carbon fiber. Carbon fiber with Kevlar wires, the Kevlar is used to uh, get some kilograms of the whole chassis. Right now what we are left to do is we have already redesigned the whole case, the whole chassis. What we're doing now is we are ready for production of the last prototype. If the prototype is okay then we will mass produce it and send it into production. What we have here, this is the water level where the water gets to. Right here these wings are electronically controlled. They help the helicopter maintain its balance when in water or when also moving in the water. They don't serve any aerodynamical use when flying, when in air, but in the water we have tested, they do help quite a lot in case also of waves or on water movements, which do occur. So what we have here is the Conor TK250, which is a turbine that we have developed and manufactured. It is unique in the world, it comes to a ratio of one to five with 250 horsepower of total available power. It is powered also by car diesel, which is an amazing exceptional feature to have because in some areas of the world, not, the, not all fuels used by the jet worlds are available, so we can utilize diesel. It has a safety feature, which is the hybrid system, which gives about 90 horsepower extras. In case of turbine failure, you still have about nine horsepower for a maximum of three minutes to get safely to the ground and land without, land without any issues. The whole turbine is 50 kilograms. It has a TBO of 2,000 hours and 4,000 hours when it comes to the rotor and the blades. When it comes to um, the 2,000 hours, when you're done with them, we either send you a technician or you can bring your machine to our company and we do the checkup. If everything's okay, you have two more, um, 2,000 more hours of flight time that you can fly with it. We have many safety features, including an automatic system that in case of the turbine, in case of rain, if the turbine goes off, then it just is turned back on. The turbine management system is done by a FADEX, so you have three switches, stop, idle, idle, fly. If everything is managed automatically by the system. The power, how much power needs to be given to the turbine, it's all automatic. So the pilot doesn't have to worry about any of that. So with this one, we have a maximum range of about 600 kilometers. Uh, it consumes 60 to 65 liters of diesel per hour. And the max speed that is reachable with this machine is of around 130 knots, which is nearly 215 kilometers per hour. Um, it is an incredible fast machine with a lot of range when it comes to these size of machines, 200 liters when it comes to the fuel tank, 
diesel, as I said before, or any aviation fuel, which is normally used. This is the inside cockpit. First thing we notice is the space. There's plenty of space in front of me, on top of me, which is amazing. Um, now here is the FS unit, which is the flight controller and computer we have on board. These one are manufactured by a local company near us, but if the client prefers, we can put a Garmin system inside. Um, a lot of people say it is far away, but we have on the cyclic, we have buttons which are needed to control the system here. These units that you see here, they are required by the German regulation. We had to put the digital, but also the analog part. Um, so that the pilot, in case there is an electric, an electric problem, the pilot can still see. Uh, this is not made in glass, it's made on a uh, silicon material, so that in case of crashes it doesn't just shatter. And under the seats there is a special system that we have designed, so that in case of crashes there is, a, there is an absorption of the forces. Now how do you get this started? There is this level right here, which is called the FedEx. What is a FedEx? In all the helicopters, there you have multiple switches, you need to uh, turn on and off. With this one you can just put it to idle and then to fly and the helicopter will just take off and the turbine is managed automatically by the computer on board which makes it extremely easy for the pilot to manage the turbine and the power and the speed and everything. 